the bloodline shit could go crazy because you could have like a, a Majin sand. You could, like shit could be created over time, but like it would have to make sense for it to, to even be a thing. Yeah, well, like it, it would, I feel like it would have to be lab created more so than like just fucking sex. <laughs> yeah, but the, 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 but the thing with that is, is like you know, obviously we've seen that concept already with the with Cell, you know, like Cell had Saiyan in him, and I right. mean, and that's another fucking thing that they dropped forever ago. That the the Saiyan Cell, the S cells, they haven't done anything with that yet, but they could. And just like you're saying, like if there was to ever do or want to have another full bred Saiyan. It would never be full because it's artificial. Yeah, yeah, artificial cool. is not the fucking same. It could be similar. It could come close, but it's not organic. And that's yeah, always going to be, be the like, difference. Like something that would make sense kind of would be like a like oob with pan, for example, or some shit like that, even though that's weird. But it's like it makes kind of sense because like pan is like has sand blood in her oob is like a majin is he well no oob is like oob Oob is what oob is i don't know what mutant he's no he's a fucking oob is an earthling ain't no fucking way bro (laughs) (laughs) he's an earthling he's a special earthling yeah yeah he's a special one he's he's a he's a earthling reincarnated with something a little extra from shenron right from fucking Boom. And but that's, that's what thing, right? So here, all right. So that we, makes no sense. If we're gonna, if we're gonna trans, <laughs> we're gonna transition to talking about Oob uh, with this whole topic, dude. He and see, and this is the thing. His bloodline is going to be crazy because if think about this, he was born. When he was born, okay, he was basically reborn, in in a sense because. Goku made a, a request, and the request was, I hope I can fight you again as a good guy. So somebody up there heard him. It was probably Whis, fucking guy. <laughs> Whis probably was like, oh, oh, ding, right? <laughs> Whis probably heard that motherfucker, and then the second Oob's mom was pushing him out, or getting pulled out, whatever, the essence of, kid, of the whole Majin Buu, boom. Right there, so should deep within shouldn't we, shouldn't we be able to say then that his blood is just different? Like, would you argue that it's not fully human, or you know? Yeah, well, that I mean, yeah, sure, that? I guess I would because because if we're because if we're gonna say that Majin Boo, Kid Boo, whatever, is now Oob, wouldn't wouldn't what, isn't it safe to say he's at least either half or full like Majin technically? Well, yeah, he's he's at least well. So, so let me think here. So it was the grand the die the grand Ga- die Kaioshin or whatever. How's that story go? He literally was fighting Majin Buu and then they and then he sealed right, the, yeah, d- whatever. Yeah, either way, yeah, Ma- yeah, Majin Buu would is essentially now Oob. In that sense, but he's not like a fully he's not fully Majin, but he's okay. he's at least half, I guess. Yeah. So so if we're tra- if we're talking about trying to make the fucking ultimate specimen, then it's gonna be Oob with sand something, right? You know. But you know, it's but, gonna be something along the lines of that. But again, yeah. it's the bloodline, and that's what I'm saying. If he ends up with Pan, for example, which I'm pretty sure like. Oob is. I mean, I don't know how. I don't. I don't. I don't know how how big of an age gap that they have, but that's not gonna yeah, matter I because, I mean, it's not like they're gonna be fucking having kids as kids, okay? Right, yeah, no, so no. like when they're of age, and that you know that ends up happening. I mean, Dragon Ball Absalon already like did that. Like that's what people people in their head cannons always has believed that Pan was gonna just end up with Oob. Just because they're around the same fucking age and all that shit. So if they do have kids, which we did see they had three in Absalon. Take that for what you will. <laughs> they were OD. They were OD. And then Oob at that stage, he was crazy. Like, he just kept getting stronger. Like, you know, he was Maju at that point because it was after GT. And then what did Oob, what happened in GT? Ma- Boo w- fused with Oob. So there was Maju. <laughs> you know, names. But... It yeah, no, but with the, with, I mean the whole Madru concept that that's cool in itself, but like because they can't unfuse at that point, right? No, 
I mean, like, I mean I'm sure they can because like the way Boo works is by you know piecing himself apart. But I don't think it's something that would ever happen, or should ever happen. I I wouldn't be surprised if they did, because listen, right. man, like look, this is this, this, this the one the one big takeaway from Dragon Ball is never say never. <laughs> never, never say never. You can don't ever think that you fully understand something either, because that's when they'll change it on you. And then uh, we 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 that's a common thing theme and thing that we talk about here on this podcast over and over over time as reminders to the listeners the, the viewers and everything excuse me because that's that's just how it goes you know the best thing you can understand about dragon ball is that you will never fully understand <laughs> anything <laughs> when you think you understand you don't <laughs> don't oh that's that good shit